Hey guys, and welcome to Bangers. Uh, if you clicked on this, you know we're going to be talking about donuts today, guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey guys, and the first recipe that I want to talk about today is um, blueberry glazed donut. Now, if you think about blueberry glazed donut, you have to you have to just quickly make mention of um, uh, slash lows another blueberry blueberry glazed donut, right? I'm going to show the recipe so that everybody can see it. Um, here it is, another blueberry glazed donut. This is what I'm going to be comparing this recipe to. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite uh, donut recipes. Anybody looking at creating the recipe should have a look at this first. Have a look at this donut layer, you know, that was created. Try it and then tweak it towards what you like, you know, or add something more interesting to it. But most of the work was done here. And um, not saying that nobody should invent, you know, a completely different uh, donut. But you know, if, if you're just starting up, this is definitely something that you need to have a look at, right? The recipe that I'm reviewing today is this blueberry glazed donut by Extrafa. Now, funny enough, you'll see here there's a review from Slash Low saying that this is um, great and it's spot on. He gave him five stars. All right, this is two layers. Um, it's blueberry and it's the the donut. Okay, let's read the description. Uh, this is his take on creating blueberry glazed donut. He says it's a shaken vape, and it was a, it was kind of like a lucky find, as it was a shaken vape, and then it just tasted right, and then it it made him feel gross for a little while, and then after 19 days, it tasted amazing. Okay, the the way he used the ingredients here: zippola is the base of the donut, with the right amount of greasy feel uh, to perceive that powdered sugar as being a glaze. Okay, so. Um, that uh, greasiness on top. So what's happening is that greasiness on top of the, the actual uh, donut. Now, you know, if you add meringue to that, uh, it kind of gives you like a glaze vibe, okay? Um, so this is what this mixer is going off. The capula cake, delicious uh, cake mix, fluffy fried, uh, you know, type of donut. That's what he's talking about. It's a cake tart donut. Um, Meringue to add a hint of egginess and accentuate some of the sweetness. Joy at low percentage for that um, barely there yeasty dough glaze. Um, oh yes, this is the what the joy is also bringing to the party. And then the combination of blueberry extra and blueberry wild. Okay, I'm going to talk about the uh, the blueberry layer first. I think um, this blueberry layer is delicious, but it just needs to be thought out maybe slightly differently because. I was detecting a little bit of soapiness. Um, just disclaimer, I didn't steep this for a full 19 days, so I'll come back to this before I put down the review for this recipe. But, um, you know, at about 15 days, uh, this is kind of feeling to me like a, um, there's a little bit of soapiness to it, to this blueberry. Maybe it's just me that has sensitive, uh, or, you know, sensitive to, to fruits. I, I've had a lot of fruits all the time so yeah this is the thing um, and then you know let's really just zoom in on this uh, on this donut layer it is delicious okay it is spot on cakey donut vibe with the greasiness and a slight uh, glaze on it so you know as far as that goes this is where the true, be true beauty is of this recipe and you know if I'm gonna compare this to another recipe it's gonna be another blueberry glazed donut by a slash layer and this donut layer uh, is almost like a refined version of what he created now he created pretty much the same thing over here right however um he uses a different blueberry layer okay he uses the blueberry trinity and he goes in tehran over here so um you know it's and he goes in with super sweet so these are two slightly different ones um but 
uh, you know, between the two, I think that this layer over here uh, with uh, extra far is slightly more greasy. I mean, it does zap uh, this recipe with 3.5% fallout. Uh, where this uh, this one, uh, this recipe by Slashelo, um, it, it feels greasy, but I think there's a lot more going on to it and it doesn't, it's, the greasiness is not so forward. So, um, but you know, another blueberry glazed donut by Slashelo, still my favorite, but this is a damn good interpretation of a blueberry uh, donut. So props for extra for, for creating a more simplified um, uh, donut layer over here that I'm into, dude. I'm into this. This is great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to rate this a tip of the banger, which is about four out of five. You know, extra for if you don't know. So congratulations, dude. Keep on mixing and bring out some more accidents, dude. We we will vape them. We'll vape your accidents. Cheers, buddy. Hi everyone, welcome to another show of bangers. So for tonight's donut show, I mixed up three recipes. The first recipe I found on ELR by a mixer named Amy. It is an old recipe, but I said, let's give it a try. It's actually called Cronut. It's a combination of a croissant and a donut. It looked interesting, so I thought really what can go wrong, let's give this a go. So uh, let's have a look at the recipe. So Cronut starts with 1% Inuera biscuit, 1.5% cream cheese icing by LA, 0.5% uh, flavor art custard, 1% Dolce Delish by TFA. I used the Dolce Delish uh, caramel. I couldn't find the other one. 2% uh, TFA frosted donut, 2.5% cap glazed donut and 0.4% FA Joy. So off the bat, the 2.5% Capella glazed donut and the 2% TFA frosted donut is a good donut base to work with. The FA Joy just adds a bit of that yeastiness to that dough and um, it gives it a bit of a dense type donut feel to the vape. This is a very thicker type of donut uh, type of uh, recipe uh, based on what I uh, found over the last seven, eight days vaping it. And uh, the FA Joy definitely gives that, uh, that feeling. I think if we had to go a little bit more higher, uh, it would probably spoil the recipe. Um, and take over it, uh, but uh, it was well done in terms of the donut base part. So the LA cream cheese, the custard, and the Dolce Delish part of the recipe, uh, that is more towards uh, adding a bit of the vanilla note to it, um, adding a little bit of a uh, creamy, creamier, cheesy type of note, uh, bringing out the croissant part of um, the recipe. A croissant, if we eat, if you go get yourself that fresh baked croissant, it's very buttery, so the LA cream cheese is helping that out. Um, it's very sweet. Uh, it's also, it's, it's more fluffier, lighter, so it's not as dense as a donut. Um, and I think that the, the combination of the Dolce Delish, I use the, the caramel version, um, so I added a bit of a caramel note there, actually not a bit, quite a lot. So it, it gave it a bit of a new, a different dimension, but it, it worked pretty well. Uh, what I get on the vape immediately is vanilla caramel dough. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So it's like vaping that vanilla caramel um, dough, uh, uh, dense donut, uh, biting into this donut frosted part of it is not really much there but it's there um, I didn't feel anything regarding the inner biscuit I think it really is not prominent enough um, maybe if a cookie could be used um, maybe another cookie could have been used just to maybe add a bit of a crustiness to the donut um, but all in all it is a decent recipe um, I 
will give this a fist pump. Um, I won't be making this recipe again, but it's, it's something worth the try if you do have the concentrates. Right, donuts uh, today, that's gonna be fun. Uh, disclaimer up front, um, I've reviewed uh, quite a number of donuts uh, before on, on the show. Two of my favorite donuts, which are always in my rotation, are uh, Led Zeppelin by Method One, aka Mr. Hardwick's. Uh, and the other one is another blueberry glazed donut, or ABGD by Slashalo. So you can check out those two recipes on all the flavors if, if donuts are your thing, but uh, I didn't want to review them again. Uh, so I went for two different recipes this, this time. Both of these ones use F.A. Zeppelin. I mean, that's, that's just become the standard in, uh, in donut vapes. It's uh, probably the best uh, and most authentic donut flavor that we have at the moment. So both of these recipes use um, a Zeppelin as their, their base. The first one I had looked at, look at was uh, Yum Yums by Sweet Poison Kim. Uh, let's just go through the recipe quickly. The donut base is 4.25% F.A. Zeppelin. Then uh, there's a sugar glaze that is added to the top of the donut, which uses half a percent F.A. Meringue and half a percent F.A. Tyrone. Then there's a syrup that is added, uh, a sweet, dark, sticky syrup glaze added to the donut, and that is achieved with 1% F.A. Caramel. Um, half percent of FA maple syrup and one percent of cap vanilla custard. Then just to add a little bit of oiliness and sort of uh, fried vibe to the, the Zeppelin base, um, Sweet Poison Kim also adds three quarters of a percent of FA Joy, which is pretty standard in these applications, and then caps the whole thing off with half percent of cap super sweet. Uh, now, I didn't read the notes for either of these two recipes, I just based my, my mixing uh, decision on the fact that they looked uh, very interesting. Um, so what I wanted to do was taste them first and then just read the notes afterwards and see if my notes actually correlated with, um, with the, the notes of the, uh, the recipe creator. And in this case, happily, uh, it did. Uh, Sweet Poison Kim uh, describes this as, as a donut with a, uh, a very sweet syrupy glaze on top. The uh, image that is used for the recipe is what we here in South Africa would call a, a cook sister. It's a, it's a twisted um, fried dough. Uh, the only difference is um, the picture in the recipe has a a thin sugary glaze on that dough. Our cook sisters have a, you know, a thick syrupy uh, coating, but otherwise it looks exactly like our, our cook sisters. It doesn't taste very much like like a cook sister. That uh, zeppelin is just too much of a doughy, cakey donut taste um, to to pass as a, as a cook sister, but it does certainly come across as what was intended, which is a donut uh, drenched in a sweet, thick syrup. Um, it's probably not 100% to my palate. On both the inhale and the start of the exhale, I'm getting that sort of moist, um, sweet, syrupy vibe. The underlying nature of the donut, that, that cakey, um, dry, Zeppelin donut base only really comes through towards the end of the exhale, which is fine. Uh, if, that, if that's what you like for bakeries, then, then that's 100%. I like my bakeries to be a little bit more bakery prominent as opposed to frosting or glazing or syrup or fruit or you know whatever goes with the bakery. I, I like that, um, that golden baked uh, nature of, of bakery juices. So in terms of that, this, this does succeed. Uh, the balance is a little bit out for me. I would have liked a little bit less syrup and a little bit more donut, but that, that's purely palate um, specific. You, you may, may prefer it. Uh, I was a little bit worried initially 
that the maple in that FA maple syrup would come through too strongly. It is a flavor that, that manifests very prominently in most of the recipes I've tried it. It's only 0.5% here. Uh, and I think it's there, but it's not enough to just turn it into a straight, you know, waffles and maple syrup type, type of juice. It, that maple note is played down to the point where I can buy it as, you know, a golden syrup type of um, type of, of coating. I'm not sure that the Tyrone and Meringue is essential. Zeppola for me has a very strong powdered sugar vibe anyway. Um, so I think that the Tyrone and the Meringue are, are just adding to that. Strangely enough, it doesn't really come through that powdered sugar note doesn't really come through very strongly in the, in the final uh, vape, I think because that, that syrup is, is kind of sitting on top of it and, and taking away that, that dry powdered sugar vibe. Um, but that, that's maybe one aspect of, of the recipe that I, I would possibly even consider leaving out. At 4.25% FA Zeppelin is definitely going to give you a strong um, powdered sugar vibe. So yeah, it's a it's a mix with um, nothing, basically nothing nothing wrong with it. Uh, the faults that I'm finding with it are entirely due to uh, to my palate. If you like your your recipes to be less bakery heavy and more on the you know the the um, aspects that are added to the bakery, in this case the the syrup, then I think this will work uh, very well for you. It's quite a sweet recipe. It's quite a moist recipe. It's not a, a dry donut by any means. It's, it's got a sort of moist syrupy um, feel to it. Uh, it's maybe a little bit rich for me. I'd probably only be able to vape this for half an hour or an hour at a time. And then I turn to something that's, that's maybe a little bit less sweet and, and rich. But again, if, that, if that's your vibe, then um, this will certainly work for you. So for uh, Yum Yums by Sweet Poison Kim, I'm going to give that a fist bump. Hey, the next recipe that I'm going to be talking about is a Glazed Donut by Brin Nuts. Let me share the recipe so you guys can check it out with me while I describe it. Okay, Brin Nuts. Um, this original recipe got a four star rating. It's got one review and this review over here is by id 10 t So yeah, there's a little bit of a story to this recipe that I wanted to show it to you guys. But this is what the description is from Brenda. Finally feeling comfortable to release this to the world. Give it a few days of a sleep. Everything needs to come together. And while it is a shake, it's shake and vapable as everything uh, if you can like it. I don't recommend it though. The glaze portion needs to develop and come forward while the dough portion needs to settle. This is a collaboration recipe by myself and I to create more realistic glazed donuts for those. They can't stand that pre-made concentrate flavors tasting like Play-Doh. Okay, so um, then he says, I don't know what else to say on this folks. This recipe has been more than 15 revisions, but I lost count and started over at some point. The final, this final uh, revision, I found some old uh, notes on FA Alma and worked it in and wow, it helped. I previously tried in where a pen, but it was too much. The almond is what's up. Adding the TFA marshmallow is, um, is for some sweetness and adding to that wet mouth feel as um, was clutch. Okay, so he then made an edit later on to say the FA almond was too hectic, so he brought it down. And then um, RDT T rates this a four star and says, tastes like a good, tastes like the good steep might make it a winner. Two days in the tank, but some problematic off notes. When drip, excited to try again with all the flavors reduced by a quarter. No other changes. Uh, all the review made this last night, so it hasn't steeped yet and it definitely needs to. But with my morning coffee, it seems like you may have finally cracked the donut code with the crazy looking flavor percentages. Um, we'll update the review after a steep. I still have two more versions. I want to try one plan and one already steep, but I won't be surprised if I find this as a winner, I finally, it finally has that wet, sticky glaze quality that previous versions were lacking. 
Okay, so that is that is the dilio, but then um, a new recipe hits the scene, right? Uh, so it's this recipe over here. This is the uh, revised version version um, by um, Brin Nuts. Uh, however, you know, ID10T uh, ID10T came in here and he just fixed it up. Okay, so um, this recipe is just going for a straight up glazed donut now what can you expect you can just uh, expect like a fluffy sort of yeastiness um slight uh, sweetness glaze um and that's about it you know maybe a slight little bit of doughiness to it but um this is this is a very complex uh, you know re uh, recipe to to chase or a layer to chase because that fluffiness is just, you know, from one of these kind of donuts, it's not easy to interpret. Okay, so this recipe goes in with um, looks what looks like exactly the same flavors, however, it's reduced a little bit. Okay, and um, the reviews over here, this is interesting. Chris DVR mixed this up, made this yesterday, and already gone. What the fuck? I what the fuck? Guess I need. 100 milliliter bottle just an update on my review i can't get enough of this stuff you have ruined me i probably paid um through a liter uh to a liter of this flavor i do have a little orange to it every once in a while this is one of those recipes that just never gets old thanks okay well there's that all right and then uh we've got some we have got some um some other uh, kind of reviews here. So query your vape saying this juice has been sleeping for four weeks on my shelf and I don't know what to say. The only thing it tastes of is yeast. I couldn't vape it. I'm sorry about it. That because I was very much looking forward to it. So yeah, that's a thing. So you've got very two very contradicting um, uh, reviews here. Uh, it looks like we've got three reviews um, here that's uh, in favor of and one review that isn't. So uh, this part my interest. This is, I was, uh, I was interested in this. Okay, so let's have a look at this recipe. Effa Almond um, 2015 Bavarian Cream, uh, Inamira Biscuit, um, Holy Vanilla, um, Effa Joy, uh, TFA, or excuse me, 2015 Marshmallow, uh, Effa Meringue, and Cap Sugar Cookie. Okay, it's fine though because this recipe was created in 2016 to have so many 2015 flavors in it, you know. Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, what we have over here, um, you know, the, the yeastiness, of course, the yeastiness is coming from is coming from joy, um, you know, and that needed to be there, it needed to be there. Otherwise, uh, this style of donut you know wouldn't have been able to you wouldn't have been able to accomplish it but then of course uh that outside sort of uh fried part of it was uh, imitated by um biscuit and sugar cookie okay so there it's three percent sugar cookie and a 1.13 percent in a biscuit okay so i i think that that sugar cookie needs to just drop slightly okay but it does give me that sort of um fried part of the, you know the outside of a fluffy donut um, then the you know the Bavarian cream in here I think uh, this is kind of just used out to fill some of the uh, dead spot potentially in the mix um, FA almond in here just to you know help boost potentially the body of this without bringing in too much flavor um, and yeah, the meringue is to give that powdery sugarness at the top and the marshmallow to fluff the whole thing out. Yeah, dude, um, I've got it right here. It's, it's kind of right. Um, it's kind of right. Uh, I can't really, you know, fault the recipe, but, you know, um, I think this was potentially more personal, personal challenge opposed to, you know, a full-blown recipe um, so this is a challenge to create that layer and create it perfectly more than a extremely enjoyable donut flavor flavor you know so 
for that reason, I don't fully agree with what Quirio Vapes said. It doesn't only taste like yeast. I can taste a little bit more to it. I can taste the dough. I can taste the fried dough part of this. Um, yes, I can taste the yeast in there. Um, you know, some, some powdery sweetness as well. Um, but as far as that goes, that's all that this layer wanted to accomplish. And I think it does it well. So I'm going to give this a tip of the banger, you know, for for going for this profile because you know it's a difficult one <laughs> to be honest uh, uh, you know it would be so easy to just uh put uh you know put cap super sweet in here and potentially you know something else just to you know, take your attention away from the donut and bring you more towards um bring you more towards uh you know the the sweetness or you know the the icing part or uh, the glaze part of the donut, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what it is, guys. Well done. Um, I dig it. It was cool. Uh, I, I, um, but will I mix it up again? Probably not. You know, <laughs> probably not. But I, I will use, I will use this, you know, um, and I'll, I'll definitely remember it. So thank you for that lesson. Cheers, guys. So for my second recipe. I thought I'll try this apple filling donut vibe. I wouldn't go to the shop and buy an apple filled donut, no way. <laughs> but 3.5% apple Fuji in this thing, I said, let's give this a go. So it's a recipe called Do Not Panic by a mixer called Peter Max on ATF. Uh, let's have a look at the recipe. So this recipe goes but 3.5% Flavor Art Apple Fuji, 2% Flavor West Cake Batter Dip, 1% Flavor Art Caramel, 1% Capella Cinnamon Danish Swirl, 1% Capella Sugar Cookie, and then 4.5% Flavor Art Zapola. So looking at this recipe, I really actually loved it. The 4.5% Zapola gives it a sort of deep fried uh, doughiness to it. Uh, it is not heavy and dense on the mouthfeel. It's not a complicated donut base type of recipe. I mean, Zapola can be used on its own. You can add a bit of fruit to it and you got yourself pretty much the most simplest of donut uh, or bakery type of vape. Your cap uh, sugar cookie just gives it a bit of the cookiness, um, maybe a bit of a crustiness to it. Uh, the cake batter dip helped out the Zapola very well. Uh, you get a bit of uh, caramel with that caramel um, uh, added to it. Uh, so it's a hint of caramel. The cinnamon danish really upped the cinnamon game in this recipe. Zapola on its own does have a slight cinnamon um, uh, feel to it and uh, the cinnamon danish really upped it. Um, and then the 3.5% apple fuji. Um, amazing. <laughs> I, I, I think it, it just really made this recipe unique. Uh, who would think uh, adding uh, that much of Fuji in it? Uh, Fuji is amazing. It's sweet on its own. It's, uh, it, it has a great mouthfeel to it. It's, it's like a really pure, nice apple feel to it. And uh, the cinnamon danish really upped it. Um, and then the 3.5% apple Fuji. Um, amazing. <laughs> I, I, I think it, it just really made this recipe unique. Uh, who would think uh, adding uh, that much of Fuji in it? Uh, Fuji is amazing. It's sweet on its own. It's, uh, it, it has a great mouthfeel to it. It's, it's like a really pure, nice apple feel to it. It blends so well with the recipe where nothing is really taking over anyone. Um, I give this a full banger, a fist pump, something I would definitely mix uh, uh, in the future. And uh, yes, go ahead and uh, and try this out. For my second uh, donut recipe, I chose Zeppole à la Creme by Hefo72. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, user on all the flavors. 
Uh, one thing about DIY recipes that I think a lot of mixers um, don't have the confidence to do is to make simple profiles. Uh, F.A. Zeppler is a pretty good donut on its own. It's got that fairly dry, doughy, bready donut base <coughs> with quite a prominent uh, powdered sugar coating on it. So it doesn't need an awful lot, it's not lacking much. Um, what Heatho 72 has done here is just to add a cream filling. So that's a simple profile donut with a cream filling. Uh, let's just go through the recipe and uh, we'll, we'll see just how uh, simple and easy this is. The donut base is 3% F.A. Zeppelin. The cream filling is 1.25% TFA Bavarian cream because that is, that is really convincing as a donut filling cream. Uh, along with half percent cap vanilla custard and one percent TFA vanilla swirl. He tops the whole thing off with half percent of FA marshmallow. I would imagine that is just to accentuate that um, <coughs> powdered uh, sugar topping or glaze on, to, on top of the donut and also probably just to add a little bit of uh, mouthfeel to it. And yeah, off, off the bat this, this works exactly as intended. Um, in the previous recipe I said that I like my um, bakery uh, juices to be more bakery forward i want the the fruit or the topping or the cream or whatever to play a little bit of a secondary role i want that that bakery texture and the bakery flavor to come to the fore and whatever's put with it the you know the custard or the cream or the, or the fruit just rounds it out and this recipe achieves that very very well I'm getting that um, bready, doughy, uh, donut vibe from the Zeppelin. I'm getting that powdered sugar coating very well. But the cream filling is just filling in the gaps. It's just rounding it out nicely. It's adding some nice mouthfeel. It's adding a little bit of that that rich sort of dairy cream um, flavor that I, I, I want in my donut. So this is simple. It's perfectly balanced in my view, and it uses flavors that really everybody should have. I mean, TFA Bav, FA Marshmallow, Cap Vanilla Custard, Vanilla Swirl, FA Zeppelin, these are all staples. Everybody should be able to mix this up. And I would recommend it if you like simple bakeries. It's not demanding on the, on the palate. You can bake this for hours, hours at a time. It's just a really tasty, sweet, cream-filled uh, donut. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a, a tip of the banger. And in closing, I would just say that sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. If you're looking for a cream full donut, then uh, yeah, give this one a try. Thanks, peeps. So for my third recipe, I saved the most complicated one for last. This one is called the Powdered Sugar Donut by Cloud State. I found this one on ATF. I had all the concentrates, it looked complicated. I said, let's have a, let's give it a go, mix this up, give it a good seven day steep. So let's have a look at the recipe first. So the recipe starts off with 0.5% Flavor Art Almond, 2% TFA Bavarian Cream, 2% Inawera Biscuit, 1.5% Flavor West Yellow Cake, 1% LA Cream Cheese Icing, 5% TFA Frosted Donut, 1% Flavor West Madagascar Vanilla, 1.5% flavor art meringue and 2% cap sugar cookie. So looking at this recipe in two main parts, the powdered sugar part and then the actual donut base part. Looking at the powdered sugar part, a meringue, frosted donut, uh, Madagascar vanilla and uh, the Alley cream cheese was used to create uh, this powdered sugar uh, part of the donut. Uh, meringue is a is a very F.A. meringue is a very nice concentrate. It's very light, 
um, fluffiness. It, uh, it has a bit of fluffiness to it. It's it rounds off the it rounded off the LA cream cheese quite well with the vanilla being a little bit of a darker type of vanilla coming through very nicely. Um, I think if uh, I think he, he used this vanilla because it's it being that darker prominent type of vanilla, um, it comes through very nicely. So the 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 powdered sugar part was done very well. Um, you can definitely taste it. It's uh, very sweet. Um, so there's uh, there's no additional sweetness needed on this one. Um, it's actually a very enjoyable vape. Uh, something that uh, um, sh we all should try out and uh, add to our add the concentrates to our flavor stash as well. So looking at the donut part of this uh, recipe. I think Cloud State wanted to go for that more warm, spongy cake type of base. So that's where the cap sugar cookie helped out the, uh, the yellow cake. It created that soft feel, uh, mouth, uh, that soft mouth feel where it wasn't much of a dense type of doughy donut, uh, pretty much like most of the donuts. Uh, your Inawera biscuit did help out uh, just adding a bit of that crunchiness to it. The FA almond as well as the Bavarian cream rounded off that spongy, uh, that spongy base and uh, it gave it a good all-round uh, basic donut base. It is a decent donut recipe. Um, it's something that I would mix up again. Uh, I'm gonna give this a tip of the banger. Uh, I will give it a fist pump for uh, uh, for the effort put in this uh, recipe because just looking at it, it's very complicated. Um, and uh, yes, it's it's all around a more uh, fluffier type of donut. Um, nothing too heavy on the mouthfeel, nothing too sweet, um, not overly sweet. And the frosted part of it, or the powdered part of it, with the frosted donut, um, just goes very well. Um, and it's it's very well crafted uh, in a in the sense that uh, it's an all-round good donut and um, Yeah, I would I would uh, definitely mix this again. Yeah So that's my bangers for tonight uh, donuts, it was very interesting. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, Just some personal personal shout out to Kyan Ground. Hope you are well and I watched the live stream uh, the 24 hour uh, live stream it was very interesting concrete river skittles um funny guys um nick evans uh first pump to you and um tam vapes and daytime frank and all uh, everyone that was behind the scenes uh dealing uh, dealing with uh, uh with the donations um, wayne from diy or die he looked pretty tired but he, he, was, uh, he was going strong uh, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely uh, catch you guys shows and um, thanks again, guys. Okay, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of the show uh, for all the mixes that got reviewed tonight. Thank you so much for putting out the mixes and for everyone that's been in chat with us uh, watching the show. Thank you for being here, dudes. It's cool to have you here. It's cool to learn. You know about mixing up other people's recipes that's always my go-to so um definitely a good place to start uh, getting into mixing is uh, mixing up recipes guys um <clears throat> just a couple of things that i wanted to shout out i don't know if uh, philip's <clears throat> gofundme page is still open if it is still open uh guys go and uh, go and look for the link in the description of this video and go and um, you know, support, support the cause, he's been diagnosed with cancer and, you know, we can give back. Um, then I wanted to shout out a couple of channels, uh, Aaron and Steven going down the rabbit hole or down the rabbit hole uh, on uh, Daytime Frank's Mixing in the Kitchen Facebook, show, uh, Facebook page. So go check that out. Also go check out Mixing in the Kitchen, um, Mixing in the Kitchen on YouTube. Um, that is Daytime Frank's channel um, on YouTube as well. Fresh03, um, go and check out his YouTube channel. Thank you so much for letting us run this after show, like always. DIY on under, go and check out their show. Develop, uh, Mixin' Vixens, and Flavor Pro. Guys, those are channels that I like to watch um, and kind of lurk in the back. 
um, and, and watch while I'm at work, you know what I mean? Um, but go check out those channels. But okay, guys, thank you much for so much for joining us and uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Remember, tomorrow is mixed. Cheers. Support this channel by buying VS one shots from BLCK Vapor. Remember, BLCK ships internationally at extremely affordable prices. Thanks for watching, guys.